All right, students. So in this video, I'm gonna be explaining to you how you can collect some data to try to understand why it is that we have different temperatures at different times of the year. So to begin, I wanna show you this model that was created by one of your colleagues. Um, and on this model, we have basically this flat area. This is representing the surface of our earth. And then we have these black um, pipe cleaners and these are representing the path that the sun takes at different times of year. Now, if I um, point out here that we have the east and the west, I can assume that if I am a person on earth looking up in the sky, I would be able to see that the path that the sun takes from east to west in the winter months um, is going to follow this lower path line. Then in the summer, at our summer solstice, the longest day of year, if I were that same observer looking up in the sky, I would see that the sun rises and it goes significantly higher, and then it sets back down in the west. And then at the equinoxes, fall and spring, that the path that the sun takes is kind of in between the um, elevation and length of the path at the winter solstice and the summer solstice. So in other words, during the summer, the days are longer, there's more daylight hours. During the winter, they're shorter. During the fall and spring, they're in between. And also the elevation of the sun above the horizon is higher in the summer than it is in the fall, spring, and then winter. It's lowest in the winter. So what does that have to do with temperature? Well, you have learned that the distance that the earth is from the sun is not a factor in what causes our seasons. In fact, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, during our winter, we are actually closer to the sun than we are during our summer. So what else could be going on? All right, so I've got this angle of solar elevation and there's three different measurements here. There's a 66 degrees, a 43 degrees, and a 19 degrees. And these measurements all correspond in general with this model which is showing us that in Seattle, on our summer solstice, the sun is 66 degrees above the horizon, or it has a 66 degree angle. During the fall and spring, there's a 43 degree angle. And during the winter, our sun only gets to be 19 degrees above the horizon. Again, what does that have to do with temperature and different seasons? So, If we um, use this model, this um, flashlight as a model for our sun and the squares as a model for our earth and the lines as a model for the elevation of the sun at different times of year, we can start thinking about how might elevation impact temperature. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna line up you're gonna have one person hold the flashlight, line it up so that the um, ruler is touching the surface of the table. And then you're gonna have somebody else trace very carefully, and I am not left-handed, so you'll see this is not very good, but the outline of the light when it is held at 66 degrees. Then you need to shift your paper. You're gonna label this. This is our solar elevation. in June. Okay, and then we're gonna do it for our uh, fall and spring. Okay, so I would hold it there. I'm gonna trace around the outline of this light and then call this solar elevation in March and September or solar elevation in spring and fall. And then I would move it again and I'm gonna hold it now consistent with, oops, the lowest angle on my paper and you're gonna to wanna to kind of shift it around so that you can get the entire circle of light onto your graph paper. Once you've done this, you're gonna have three different circles, all different sizes. At that point, you're gonna to need to really carefully count out the number of squares. If you have partial squares, you can just um, decide how you want to count those. Be consistent with all of the different circles that you use. So I would say there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 
I'd say this is 24, 25, this makes 26, these might all be 27, these are 28, and 29. So I would say that I had 29 squares. As you fill out your data chart, you are going to use this value, not my value, but the value that you get. I wasn't very careful, remember, but you're gonna use the value and you're gonna assume that the power on this flashlight is three watts. And um, you will complete this for each of the three angles and then analyze the data that you gather um, from this investigation. And again, we're trying to understand what could possibly be causing the differences in our temperatures beyond just the hours that the sun is in the sky. All right, good luck, scientists.